What's up guys, it's Oerox again here, back at it again. And today, as you can probably already see from the thumbnail, we're gonna review how old metaguns do now on this time and day. And, well, I've been playing Endlux for a while, so I know pretty much what the metaguns are. And yeah, first of all, the first game we have, the Thumbers. It used to be probably the most broken gun out of all of them, if I'm being honest. The Thumbers used to be disgustingly strong. Like, I'm talking about like being able to two-shot you from any range and once have you head. And if you don't believe me, I complete, I'm completely okay with that if you don't believe me. Watch my other videos from like seven or eight months ago. It actually shows how broken these guns are. But like I said, aim blocks remove, um, broke a lot of guns. Like with the weapon balancing. And the Thumbers was one of them. Aka, it got balanced right after thing. It got balanced right with, um, how do I say it? It got balanced right with the, when the 5C released. They nerfed the Thumbers and they make the 5C broken. By the way, little sneak peek, the 5C is the next gun we're gonna cover. Because the 5C is probably the most known meta gun, I guess. And if you're, if anyone's wondering why we're starting out with, uh, why we're starting out with, um, MVP, very simple answered. There's literally not a single owned guns lobby right now. Right now. Why the fu what are you doing here, buddy? Chill. This is why I don't like MVP low grab. And normal MVP, I could just use my pumpkins. I guess we're doing our best. As long as we got- I wanna get these four. And definitely not you though. Alright. That was interesting. Right, also this thing has ghost host ghost reloading as well. Honestly, the biggest problem I have with the farmers is just the iron sights are horrendous in this game, thank you. Now we can end this round real quick. Just need to get away from all the people. Oh, I'm dead and person can blink. Totally up, see? Let's get a bit of a side of some of them. The thing is, that's the that's the guts to go with. I think it's 32 kills, right? I think. Right? I think it was 32. Don't make me redo this. Well, here we are with the first round. Let's see us straight in the second round with the 5C. All right, and here we are straight in the second round. This time with the 5C. And I think everyone knows. I think now everyone still remembers how good the 5C used to be. Pretty much a free shot kill every range. And like a double tap headshot close range. It was really strong. This used to be one of the guns everyone used. Like everyone. Like even newer players used the... 5C because it was just that strong. Is it still strong? Yeah. It's meh now, in my opinion. But it's definitely usable, especially if you have good ping. I'm lagging because... Like, I kid you not, there's there's one... Um, there's two EU servers out right now. Two. That's it. There's two EU servers in whole of aimblocks right now. All others are US, and if every, anyone knows, I have... I get almost 300 ms when I'm playing in the US. So this is all very delayed. Someone boosted. Well, he's on my team at least. I'm probably dead here. Never mind. Oh god. Well, that was awkward. To say the least. Jeez. Jeez. BFGs. I have BFGs everywhere. But the hatchet damage is... The hatchet damage is kind of nutty in this thing. Like... How much? Like... 52 headshot? Yeah, that is actually pretty good. Those ranges thing can still do pretty well for itself. Yo. That guy has the Amy UMP skin, man. If only the UMP wouldn't now wouldn't be a mid gun. I mean, the UMP used to be pretty good. Now it's meh again. But the UMP isn't a meta gun. It never used to be one. And we're here to use the known meta weapons, like the farmers used to be really meta before the 5C. Then the 5C came out, and after that we didn't really have a meta gun. So yeah. That happens, I guess. It's a bit annoying that it never used to be a meta gun. Like, there's not too many meta guns in this game, honestly. It always used to be the same few guns. Like, it always used to be like the same four or five guns. It used to always be the LRPA, UZ, uh, LRPA, UZ, AK-103. Galil actually used to be really good too. Yeah. Galil actually, people really underestimated how good the Galil was. I mean, now it's a dumpster fire. I don't think anyone likes using this thing. The only good thing about this it is it's a, a model because it's actually pretty detailed. Like the most detailed model in the game, I mean. On that, the de damage is mediocre at best. The recoil is obnoxious and the, and the reload is even more obnoxious. Do you guys know how long this thing takes to reload? It takes like a solid, like at least like 8 to 9 seconds. Like, no. Like, what, what, why am I talking? It takes at least a solid, what do I guess? 3 and a half seconds to reload? 
plus at least like a half second dead time reload. Oh, hell no. no honestly, what we need is uh, bullet randomness in snipers. I know it would ruin space snipers a bit, but we just need bullet randomness. Anyways, we see us straight in the last one with the UZ. Alright, and here we are already in the last one, and this time we have the UZ. I know it's a surprising pick, but the UZ did get nerfed. And it was on sale for a good while, so it technically counts as a nerfed meta gun. Because everyone used to use used to use it when it was back. It was only like 15k. So it was really cheap to get. Because 15k is not much. I think we can all agree that 15k is not much to get. I, it either was 15 or 30k, I can't quite remember, but I, I'm pretty sure it was 15k. It's pretty much an AR and an SMG in one. The fire rate is like, it's pretty much everything the double Uzi wants to be, but isn't. You gotta love the hits, you gotta love it when you kill someone behind the wall because you lag. Just gotta love it. The thing is, why I don't like lag is the... I mean, I think everyone knows. I mean, it's pretty obvious why you don't like lag. It's just annoying. Now this is going decently well so far. Well, anyways, how is it guys day, but I haven't even asked it all day, Jesus. I can't wait to make a video on the pumpkins. Because the pumpkins need to be nerfed, like... The, the thing is, they could either reduce this ammo size to like something like 6 or something. Because, in my opinion, this is a hot take. But in my opinion, the UC, the pumpkins are this strong because they have like... Because there's 20 of them. And obviously because they're good. Obviously they have insane range, everything pretty much. Don't kill me. I'm leaving. Bit of wall sliding here and there. Did he seriously not... He didn't. Why don't you notice my existence, man? I'm still here. I just like the Uzi still. It's still really good actually. The, I think the only thing they did is they nerfed the damage. I think like three, three max, min, ma, like minus three max and minus two min damage. And other than that, it's pretty much only been, uh, it's pretty much just kept the same. And it has a bit less, and it, a bit, and, <coughs> and it has a bit more recoil. That's what I wanted to say, jeez. Totally can't speak today. Also, if this upload comes out a bit later than usual, I'm sorry. But like I said before, there's not a single normal game right now. Like there's not a single EU lobby. And it takes considerably longer when you have to uh, play with lag. It's pretty much if you play with input lag. The same thing. Dead. Dead. Another one here. That was a very dangerous gun. But it's also a pretty good puncher. I think it does 23? Alright. That happens. But yeah, good gun. I really enjoy it. It's actually a really fun gun to use. And I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. And if you do, let me know in the comments and I might do a follow-up video or something. Don't die now, Rox. You always you ever joke. <laughs> well, anyways, this was also quite the fun round. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, let me know in the comments. But anyways, I'm Rox, the Content Creator. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe. And we'll see us straight in the next one. Have a good one.